Hello class. Let's work on the equation editor. Uh, first, I'm just going to actually go through uh, this is actually figure 19-3 from the book I created real quick. Um, one thing when you're creating parts and you're going to use the equation editor, <clears throat> it's always best to name your dimensions. So first, if you click on you see our dimensions, we're not they're not named right now. Uh, the easiest way is to do annotations, right click on annotation, show feature dimensions. But one other way we got to do here, see this uh, D1 here, view dimension names. Hit that. And therefore, oops, when I select everything, it shows the names. Um, that can also be done with view, you know, show, hide, and go down here to dimension names d1 so in order to change the names you could just select a name double click and notice how here's the value up here is the name so let's call this one width now it's called width or actually let me see length let's go with length on that one never mind Length. Width. Let's say whole diameter underscore diameter and whole center. That's renaming them. <clears throat> I might as well rename this one too. This is boss extrusion. This is going to be depth. Now that I have everything renamed, uh, right here it says update, student so update. Let's just go over the equations. So So uh, initially, go to Tools, go down here to Equations, select Equations. <laughs> That'll open up the Equations, Globe Variables, and Dimensions box. Now, the uh, reason why I and we change all these names because I would use use the equations. Let's see if I was using the actual the dimension view. It's easier to see exactly what those dimensions are. But let's just go over this real quickly. All right. Here we have the equation view. Um, it shows you the global variables, features, and equations. The sketch equations view, if you had an open sketch, uh, this is where those would show up. Dimension view, which uh, shows you all the dimensions, so it makes it easier to work with. And then uh, order view. If you had, if we had equations in here, it would order those, and especially if you had uh, automatically rebuild. And Automatic solve order. Automatic solve order would give you the equations in which they are solved. Uh, of course, you got degrees, radians, <coughs> 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees. You have also a link to external file. You could uh, link an external file um, of equations to this, and simultaneously you can actually export your um, files to link. Okay, back to um, let's go back to the equation view. And uh, under the equation view, uh, global variables. Let's just go over global var variables real quick. That's just a a variable. You know, if you're doing like algebra, it'd be like your x, y, z, whatever. You're in, you know, two x. It's the x portion. You're going to give a name to a variable, and then you can either give a value, you can give it an equation. Um, so let's let's just go over global variables real quick. So here, let's just name one length. I've already named, now if I hit tab button, it goes to the next one. I've already named uh, in the um, dimensions length. Technically, that's eventually what I want to want. So right now, let's say it's 200. I can either make it a, a function. You know, it's got a bunch of functions built in, file properties, which we don't like really, or you can physically measure. Right now, I'm just going to make it a constant by typing in 200. Once you fill in the constant, you know, it's either a value or an equation, 
hit the tab button again, he evaluates to 200. If this were a function, you know, equals, you know, two times, you know, the length plus the width or whatever type of function you put in there, <clears throat> it would calculate and give you the actual value that the dimension will be right here. In comments, you can start selecting what you want to describe it as. Length of the part. Let's do another global variable, width. Tab. Let's see, my width, we can make it a function of the length. Let's, let's make it a function of length. So let's make it you know, equals a global variable length. I can pick select length and under uh, once you have one of the global variables in, you can use that now in your equations and features. It's it's a it's either a constant or it's a function that has a value. So I can here hit here global variables length. Oops, looks like I got two equals length. I say minus fifty. And that should equal one fifty. Okay, tab button one fifty width of that part. So right now these are just global variables. They are um, you know, like I say, it was like a, a mathematical equation. These are your x and y, whatever. They're variables, and you throw values in. They're not actually linked to anything. So if I were to hit OK right now, oops, there's nothing there. And as soon as I hit OK, if you notice over here, before there were no equations. Now there are equations. I have equations for length and width. Those are the global variables. And you can tell they're global variables by the uh, little globe there. I still have nothing linked to the length or width. So now every time I can still click on these uh, dimension values, I can still change them, do whatever I want to it, rename them, and that's 